All right, let's check this out. There's sound. All right. I'm wondering if the sound is needed. Get all that, it's cute. I mean, you know, it, got, it feels like action-y stuff that might be too adult for a little kid and they shouldn't be playing this. And then it's all quiet. But then after that, it feels like there could be more sound with him. She could be maybe saying something. He could have something. It feels like you're you're getting into that kind of a pit of adding more fully sound and more extra sound where this this feels like they're just, just like one layer and that's it. Just throwing that out there, but I'm gonna turn off the sound just to concentrate on the animation here. I think for the beginning, that's okay. The moves here feel a bit soft. There's something about how this wiggles back and forth that I think I would I would amp up a little bit. Given his little arms and his age, it's gonna be just a bit more, I wouldn't say erratic, but just a bit harsher. And when he does this, it's a bit of a bummer because now we're starting to kind of overlap and it gets a bit messy with the silhouette and then you're getting kind of close to this. I wonder if you could, that's a bit destructive, but going almost the other way where he's leaning this way and has his arms there. So then you have, um, you know, the, the pad out in the open for silhouette. I mean, you know, the body could be here and arms could still be here. So you have that right in front of that color silhouette. And then it's a little bit all at the same time. And watch out. It's just a moment where he almost looks into camera here. Here, But I think there could be a thing where he plays. And then I will play it in here. Brows and eyes. Quick eye dart over there. While he's still playing. It's like his, his radar. Like his spider senses turn on and you know went off. And then he's checking with his eyes. A couple of frames. And then the head goes over there. And then a couple frames later, the arms go down. It's kind of like this. The radar sends something. The head moves over to check. But he still super <laughs> wants to play. But now the head has turned. They realized. <gasps> and then he goes out like that. Where then the arms drop. <laughs> I do like this. Thing. He goes, I want to keep playing. I don't want to give up just yet. Just watch out for the eye line. It's a bit too low. You got to keep that up to where the TV is. <gasps> but then it gets the same thing. He he plays, but then he just throws it and turns that off. And I think, I love the idea that he goes, oh, no, I want to keep playing. But then it needs to be almost a little moment of, oh, okay, damn it. Just a little moment of, ah. Even if it's, you know, not too rushed, but enough of a little beat of, he tried to play one more time, like a big sigh in frustration. Then he throws that. This is a bit slow. Watch out the timing of this. And I think you can make, make it a bit more where it rotates so it doesn't feel like a 2d card almost floating over and that's fine i like the to turn off here i just check with his knee i like that just because it's ever so slightly negative space but i guess we could we could overlap it here and i think i wouldn't go over well hmm. he's probably looking you know did it really turn off the tv but I don't know if at this point he's done so much that at this point I would look at he's checking where the mom is versus TV. Or it could be something where he does this, checks the mom up there. He doesn't have to check here just yet, maybe. I know we're communicating well. That's where I'm headed. It's tricky because you have te technically this to show this and that. And out of that, I would almost let like go over the TV and stick to the mom where it's almost like... Okay, gotta go over. Let's communicate that to the audience. I gotta go over there. And then instead of this, it's the mom where he might have this moment of teeth. That's my, my tooth drawing here. <laughs> Clenched teeth. Almost, almost versus the TV. And then he does that. And I think this could be a thing. Oh, this is almost too clean. Like a superhero moment. It's a bit twinned. I would, I don't, for me as a kid, panicking, struggling. It almost have a bit of a slip of one of the legs 
one arm could almost, you know, flail a bit. But again, this... Like, to me, it's also the landing, which I remember last time was a bit too clean. Like, imagine he gets up, slips a bit, slips with this one, so he doesn't jump as far. I know these are very destructive notes, but just right now looking at this, he would try to jump, slips a little bit, and then the jump isn't this. It's more like, oh, and he only lands here. Like, the head of here is here. And then he brings out his, his hands to pull himself towards there, like a last minute little shuffle to really draw out that tension and panic. And then the mom comes in and then, then it would be more like, hey, bit of a smile. You know, like instead of looking over, nothing. And then, ah, to me, it's more like, I'm totally fine. Hi, mom. And then see, and then you can have a smaller one because the guild sets in and all that. That's probably it for the mom. Watch out, there's some pops there in the legs and the knees. A little bit of a stop and go in the root. It suddenly accelerates and then suddenly stops. It could be something where, was it in the silhouette? It's a bit wonky. I will probably, you know, you can play it as in she probably knows because moms usually know. So that the end is actually more, she takes this step. And then takes another step so that she ends up being more like that. This foot is here. Or that where, you know, it's on a triangle, like very strong pose. It can almost tap the foot a little bit going, I know what you're doing. It's a little bit of foot acting for that. Versus this was like she's stuck in a half step of something with could have been a, a mushy little um, silhouette there. Yeah, and that's kind of that. Um, still like it. It's still really cute. These are just, as always, my two cents. Maybe destructive two cents. But as always, you can take whatever you need from that. And that's it. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.